What is up, all of y'all? How are you guys doing today? It's a super gorgeous, beautiful fall Oregon day. And me and Dina Beans are doing a little mushroom hunting. And of course, Misha's here too. We went out a couple of days ago and did a little bit of mushroom hunting and we didn't really find much. Um, some beautiful woods and um, a couple of not edibles. But we really want to get into some chanterelles. Dino would really like to find a lobster. She's never found a lobster in the wild and they definitely exist um, right out here too. Well, I thought that we might find a little trail going up right here, but it seems like that last little trail that we saw might be our best. That might be our one. All right, well, let's go back over there. Once we get up there, it's gonna be a little bit flatter. Yeah. Misha, let's go, babe. Come here. Yeah. Of course, Misha's with us. And uh, we're just gonna walk around out here in the woods until we find something that looks a uh, little and golden and edible and um, pickable. So uh, we got some brushes and some knives with us. We got a couple little bags and we're going adventuring. So stay tuned and we'll find some boomers. <laughs> things that you get to see when you're out fishing. We don't um, usually share river locations too often. Okay, here's our little trail. We're gonna go up this. Get Dina going up first. <laughs> you got this all day, you're golden. You're golden. All right, you guys. All right, you guys, here we go. We're going up. Yeah, it's actually way slipperier, slipperier than you expect it to be. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh We're going back down. Well, all right, I'm getting a running start. <laughs> that didn't work. I had to hold on to stuff. Yeah, some bushes and things. You just always gotta make sure you're not holding on to poisonous. Okay. Okay, we're up and in. It feels good and wet and lush in here and mossy. And Dina just found some weird, weird little, whoa, what? It's not even a mushroom, huh? It's like... Look at this thing. It's not even a mushroom, but it looks like a mushroom. Here, let's wait, hold on, don't pick it. Let me come check it out. Let me come see. Oh, I think so. right away, that's a chanterelle. There's another yep. one right there. Yeah, baby. There's another one right there. All right, we got our first one here. See, look at that. Classic chanterelle. Beautiful. Oh, perfect specimen. You see that one over there? Yeah, I was gonna say there's one right there. Then I see these little two yeah. little ones right here. One, two. Beautiful little mushroom.
is a real beautiful little clearing right here. Where's all the chanterelles at? Well, look at here. A couple of little mushrooms. Let's see what these are. I don't think these are chanterelles. This is an interesting mushroom. Look, the underside has no pores at all, and it's tough. It's I thought it was going to be fragile because of how small it looks. That stalk is solid, and that's like a tough, tough mushroom. And look, there's a couple more of them. Yeah? There's a couple more of them scattered about over here. see right here and how that's been cut off that's kind of a sign that someone else has been picking here recently so maybe we'll uh, venture on a little deeper so I just found this one I think it's the one that someone else cut I'm not sure what it was but I just found this one it was already cut so if you guys know what kind of mushroom this is, go ahead and let me know. So I just found this one right over there. This cool mutant mutant top mushroom butthole. Yeah, little baby, but we'll take it. This one was like split open already, mostly by these pine needles and stuff. But here we go. This pit of a tree root. This tree must have been so loud when it went down and it just cut this huge hole out of the ground right here. This is pretty wild. Wow, the tree was 
big, but it wasn't even that big. Oh, it's like three trees. It took out three. Money. Yeah, three trees that fell all together. Wild. And look, it was like three trees. There's a little tree underneath that one, and then there's this bigger one. They all went down, took out another little tree right there, and, and left. Yeah, wild. Yeah, look right in here, you guys. Whoop. That tree just got pulled it down the center by a fallen tree. The woods up here are just gorgeous. Let's go, Mish. I think it's called an earth star. It's a mushroom. Really? Yeah, it's a fucking mushroom. Well, look at me. Whoa. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what did you just find, Dina? So I'm pretty sure this is called an earth star. Not positive. We'll have to look. But it's a mushroom, and then we're going to watch it come and up. It was, it was like whole, that little dent. Yeah, that dent that just she just popped out. I, I put it into it when I was like trying to mess with it. And these are spores coming out. Wild, push it again. Yeah, see the little spore poof out of that? Totally wild, and it just grew up on the ground like that? Yep. I think I've seen those before, and I always thought that they were some type of acorn, and I never even picked it up and checked it out as a mushroom. Super, super cool. And look, it does when you push this little thing. Spores come out. Super wild. Cool, fun little find. We're gonna go ahead and stick it back out there in the bush and let it do its thing. I'll tuck you in somewhere. Maybe right here. Yeah, that's a beautiful little place. There we go. All right, bye, little guy. It's certainly thick and lush up in here. Looks like somewhere you would maybe find some if you want these big conifer trees. So we're going to keep on exploring. Um, I think we're in the right area. We're at a similar elevation as to what we found those other chanterelles. And, um, I imagine somewhere up in one of these forests, we're going to find some. We just pulled up to this next zone. We are driving down the road and we saw some big conifer trees and some ferns and decided to go do a little digging through the woods up here. When I'm trying to get into patches, wild, I don't know what that is. When I'm trying to get into patches of mushrooms that aren't in, um, you know, places I've picked before and we're just kind of out looking for mushrooms. I always look for ferns and for rhododendrons and for, I mean, first of all, big conifer trees. You want pine trees, um, fir trees, cedar trees, um, and you want that old growth. And the firs, Douglas fir and, um, and uh, what's the other fir? Another fir. Those are the, uh, those are the real old growth Douglas 
that's the jam right there. Coastal um, and high mountain fir, fir groves that have uh, nice thick mossy undergrowth and some ferns, maybe some rhododendrons, maybe some other wild berries and stuff like that, those kinds of bushes in the area. See, these are, this is a huckleberry bush right here. There's one little tiny huckleberry all the way up here. And there's a couple other ones right over there. And um, right over here is a salmonberry bush. And I don't necessarily think that these berry bushes are indicators of mushrooms. They might be, but when I get up into this lush, thick forest where I usually find the mushrooms, I always happen to find those berry bushes also. So they're at least often in the same areas. And when you find the right formula of conditions, everything from those fir trees and the other flora fauna undergrowth um, to elevation and moisture level and the right, uh, right area, right time of year, you're gonna be able to find mushrooms. Now this zone that we're in right now might just be a little bit dry still, or we might be a little bit early. They could be at an elevation that's a few hundred feet different than we are right now. Um, and that'll just maybe cause us to not find any right here. But I'm sure that at some point this year, this whole area will be full of chanterelles. It just looks so perfect for them. Um, we'll keep digging around a little bit and maybe we'll find some. There's little indicator mushrooms, some little white mushrooms, whatever that little white blue one that Dina saw over there. Um, here's more berries, I think. Yeah, these are, these are maybe coastal huckleberries, these, these darker blue ones. I think that these are coastal huckleberries and the other huckleberries I showed you just a minute ago are um, mountain huckleberries. And the bushes really do look pretty different. Um, well, that other huckleberry bush is back over there. But yeah, maybe you guys can give me an exact proper, you know, um, scientific delineage, specification, whatever it is. What, what kind of huckleberries are these versus the other huckleberries I showed you over there and that I've showed you other times on the show. So, oh man, that tasted just like a blueberry. Maybe these are wild blueberries. Look at this. Look at this patch of forest right here. We're just going to adventure on in here for a little bit, see what we find. Uh, hopefully we get into some mushrooms or at least something cool to uh, check out, like this tree right here. Look at this, look at this wild stump. Look at this stump that's rotting out. What a wild, massive tree that, that was. And then look, this is like a piece of the stump that just fell that way while it's rotting. What's up, you guys? We just pulled up to another spot. A little pull off on the side of the road because saw a couple big trees on the right side. But then, on the left side, there was this little park, and we pulled over onto it, and there's a bridge going across this little creek here, up into what looks like a big swath of woods. So we're gonna go over there and check it out. And then as we pulled into the parking lot, I noticed that it looks like the bridge goes nowhere. So let's go see what the deal with. Little cave through the trees, whoa! did that, it definitely looks like something's house. Whoa, some kind of hornet's nest just hanging out right here. Oh. Oh. Did it fall maybe? No, I think it's, 
Yeah, it looks like it fell. It was probably up in the tree. Or someone set it there because it's so perfect. Whoa, so right away. What's up, you guys? So we just found another one of these cool little um, ground stars uh, that Dina turned me on to earlier. So you can see it's right down here on the ground. And we're gonna get in right up close and check it out. A thing where it's a little mushroom. It kind of looks like an acorn that rolls out, but it's a little mushroom, almost like a little poof ball. So watch right here when I go poof, poof. See, it pumps a little spore out. And that thing's real cool. It's like a wild looking alien little mushroom. Those, the little petals roll out off of it. it looks like a different kind of little puff ball until right then, and then the little petals roll out, expose that little inside. Super wild and alien. And then look right there, little, little cutie, little whitey of some kind. But still, that thing right there is a trip. All right, this might be the biggest one we found yet today. See chanterelle, uh, what do we call those? The gills. The gills, yeah, they don't go, uh, they don't stop at the stalk, they go down. That's one of the ways you can tell it's a chanterelle. And we cut it because it helps keep the mycelium mat going and alive so we can continue to pick chanterelles for years to come. Look There's a whole beauty. bunch of debate online of whether or not cutting them matter, it's matters true. or not. It's one of the biggest arguments you'll see people just go off on on the threads. But it's also like a cleaner way to get it out of the ground. You know, right. you might as well cut it rather than try to rip it out of the ground and split your stock or something right? like that. Right? It's not like we're missing that much meat. No, Why not just do it? cut deeper, we could. I think that cutting's the way to go. But look, we got it right, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah getting into it. Right we love you, Mama Mushroom. Let's find some more. Yeah. We love you. Damn, Dina. Mm -mm -mm. Why don't you show us off that mushroom? All right. It's a this is the one that I just walked right past. I was just cruising this trail all fast, and like the biggest, baddest score of the day. Dina was like, you just walked right past this. Wow, that's awesome. Look at how cool. Come on now. The autofocus to yeah, there you go. Look at how cool the spores on the underside of these chanterelle is. Look at how tall these are. <laughs> yeah, look at these ones too. Yeah, real tall. There's more too. Gonna throw those right in our bag. This one looks like it wanted to be two. Right, hadn't right? split yet. Uh huh. Fun stuff here. Go ahead and throw those ones in your bag too. And then there's another one right there in front of you. Yep. And then there's another one over here on the ground behind me. Behind you? Yeah. Just this monster is. Well, guys, that's gonna be the end of our day. Um, we did it. We, uh, we did it. We cruised back along the um, along the zone, looking at some different forests and stuff as we were coming home. But we didn't really spot anything else that seemed too primo. So, gonna take these, clean them all up, and turn them into some soup or sauce or some kind of stir fry or something like that. Probably make some gravy. So, yeah, yeah. And uh, until next time. You're watching the bite.